very different feelings than a few years ago here at Morrowview in the semi-final. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, we had to we had to dig deep. Um, we fired it on Gannon. They they obviously had a game plan. They worked on. They, they executed it quite well. Big Daggy Dunn's made you know a couple of fantastic saves. And as I say, we've we've had to dig deep. And our play attack when he's come off a bounce and come up an absolute unbelievable winner. I guess football is, is one of those things where you can't take anything for granted. And how important was it for the team just to be patient today and maybe not just throw all caution to the wind right away? No, uh, absolutely. You know, today was by by no means a given. Um, Dungannon have improved immensely on their team. Um, they stick to their principles. Um, we knew it was going to be a, a tough test. And listen, you, you don't win games of football in the first five minutes. You know, we, we knew it would it could possibly take 90, 120 penalties, whatever it might be. We prepared for every eventuality. And as I say, we we stuck to our task of what we wanted to do. And, and thankfully, we've won it in, in normal time. And the man who comes on and, and scores the goal, maybe an unlikely source. He, he obviously retired last summer, but for him to come on today and, and get you through to the final. Ah, it's fantastic, you know. Taki's obviously come out of retirement to help us out when we were down to the bare bones and you know it's it's fitting to the man that the shape he's kept himself in, you know, and he's look he's an integral part of this this football club legends are talked about too too easily, but he's he's certainly won and, and fitting today that he comes on and scores the winner. There's lots of football to be played obviously before the all important final of the Irish Cup, but just looking to that Johnny and, and thinking back to last year and you know, the romance of it all, how excited are you now to be? Uh, listen, absolutely. You know, it, it's great to be going back to, to another Irish Cup final. Um, but as you say, there's a lot of football to be played before then. You know, we, we want to win as many games between now and the end of the season as possible. We want to finish as high up the league table as possible. Um, so, you know, we've, we've got to take care of business. We've got to knuckle down. Big game next Friday night away at, away at Windsor. And look, when the when the cup final comes round, we'll we'll be organised, we'll be prepared. But for now, it's back to back to league business. Perfect, congratulations. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks. And when you come back from that game against Linfield, I know there was a lot of talk around it after the game. You were probably tortured with interviews. In your mind, was this the the, the fairy tale of it all that you would come on and, and get your side through to another final of the Irish Cup? I, I wasn't thinking that far down the lane to be fair. Um, when I came back, I think once I had the, the chat with the manager, it was more uh, two three weeks that we got bodies back and. I think I get in, it's probably done a wee bit better than what he expected, so he's clung on to me a wee bit. And he knows I'm here from whenever he needs me, but it was a nice touch today. Obviously, coming on, I think it was the only touch of the ball today, and it's ended up in the back of the net, so delighted. I spoke to you very early on in the, in the season, probably in the, in the summer when we were playing Basel. You came on and you've done commentary, and I asked you where you're missing it, and you hadn't been doing an awful lot. But to come back out today, get the goal, and, and obviously your last game that you played was the Irish Cup final, it's sort of written in the stars. It's, it's just... Yeah, it's been nice, and you know, my good mate Sean O'Neill was obviously watched them last night, and it'll be nice to see him on a big day in May. Um, but yeah, last year obviously winning the way we did was special. Um, I didn't expect to be back playing this year whatsoever and I hadn't done a lot. Um, but it's nice now to be back in and part of it and to give a bit back. Obviously the manager trusted me to come back and help the team whenever I could and to come on and help the team when needed. It's perfect. I just want to talk to you and ask you specifically about the goal and, and what you remember of it. You must have you couldn't believe you were living when you were seeing you were throwing goal. No, it's it was fun when I come on and Talk to the manager and Jeff Spears, and he just says, Listen, I think Jude had played the 89 minutes and he was running the steam. He says, Just get beyond, get beyond, because he knew it was a heavy enough pit today. Um, and I went on to be fair, and Jody Forsyth says, I'll play up, you play behind me. And I said, No, no, I, I'm playing up. So it was probably Finley's Crusaders. I think it was a long ball from Johnny, and Chicken had flicked it on. And once it failed the ball, I did a wee glance up, and the space had just opened up. And it was a great ball through to be fair. Does days like today make it even more difficult to maybe make a decision at the end of the season? I've seen you going over and celebrating with the fans. How special was that? No, it was. And things like that you miss, you know what I mean? And you do miss at the start of the season. But as I've said all the time, my role now is to develop young players at the club and push them on. And I'm here this year to help the team and help the manager and help the club as much as I can. Um, but I think next year, that, that's definitely me. Definitely me. And the Irish Cup final, you know, it's on a Sunday this year. And, and how special is that going to be to put on the shirt? Maybe for the final time? Be nice, something I didn't expect, obviously, from last year. And as we talked about last year, it was that very tail ending for me. But it's nice to have, have a chance to do it all over again. Perfect. Thank you very much and congratulations. No worries, the objective today was to get your team into another final. You've done that. What did you make of today's game? I always knew it was going to be a, a real difficult game because I knew how they would set up and I knew that they would try and play three speedy players at the top end of the park and try and hit us in, in, into the corners. But I thought our back four today were magnificent. There was no balls in behind us really to worry about. BJ snuffed it all out down his side as did Rory 
and our two, our two centre halves were really commanding in there. Didn't didn't cause us any trouble really whatsoever. Um, so we, we knew we knew what was coming in, in regards to how they were going to try and set up. And I thought in our, in our play we've created the three or four huge huge chances to score, and then their keeper just pulls off worldies. You know this this could have been a big different outcome. This could have been four or five nil to us. Um, but when a game stays as tight as it does, you've got to find a solution. You've got to find a way in. And, and Jude had run out a little, little bit of gas, and we, we saw the opportunity. We were thinking of bringing Declan on for five or ten minutes, and, but we also were aware of the extra time that was, was coming. And uh, we just seen Jude just we took out what we could out of Jude's legs and then said, Look, make the change. And, and Declan Goodell has that opportunity. He's brilliant at the third man running, flicks on, gets on to seize balls over the, over the shoulder, great flick on, Heatley flicks one on to him and, and, and he goes and, and buries it with some aplomb. So, big moment, uh, but we've we, we've fully deserved to win this game because we've we've come to win it. We, 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 they've made it tight for us, to try, you know, they've battled hard, they've worked hard. Curry and, and uh, Maron have, have, have thwarted every effort that we've thrown at them. But we were the better team by a distance, and uh, and we fully deserve to run it into another Irish Cup final. So I'm delighted that we've got there. It's brilliant for our football club to go again, and I'm looking forward to meeting my big friend in another four weeks. Hopefully at a packed Windsor Park. I'm sure people outside, maybe you know, the, the dressing room would have said that Crusaders were, were favourites today, and all they needed to do was turn up. We we seen maybe a, perhaps a shock last night, but how important was was the side mentally today? To you know, they still had to go out and really you know perform their best. Yeah, yeah. We, we listen. We drilled that message home. We that we couldn't just turn up here and expect it to happen. It, 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 I was up at five a.m. this morning with uh, changing the team in my head. 20 times and it, it's it's it, it's a tough tough fixture you, you 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 win it you're in a final you lose it you're out and, and there's no coming back from it semi-finals are hard to lose I've lost a number of them uh, so but we, we were we were determined here today we were really really focused that team uh, the, the defending from our team today was brilliant and, and I'm delighted with just the attitude and the real hunger to be in another final uh, and as I say, and we need all of that, and we need and more. So there's a long way to go. Palomino are obviously going to come in with the revenge mission. To, you know that's set up already for them, uh, trying to think the thing that they might have got over the line last year. But that shows the resolve of our team. You know, we, we 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 fight to the death. We work incredibly hard, and we'll give it our best as always. And and let's hope that we can get up there with a fresh impetus and, and uh, see where we all are. There's a number of games to be played before we get round to this game. So we'll we'll enjoy the moment today. Players have enjoyed this big success, big and big, you know, response in the dressing room afterwards, big excitement. And we'll enjoy today. And then we'll get set up for a few games before we end up showing up at Windsor Park. Just on the, the goal today, Stephen, I'm not sure, you know, it, it's, when you think back to Declan Goodell's last game, last year's Irish Cup final, you know, there's a big, you know, a, a thank you and goodbye as such, and then he comes back and comes on today to, to put you in the another final. Aye. Well, it's like an encore at, at the, uh, at the, at the, what do you call that, the, the theatre, isn't it? You know, when you keep calling them back and, and to watch our fans make a noise like they made and the, 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 the red and black smoke and the flags and the drums and the, you know, and the cheer and the, the singing afterwards was just immense. I asked for a big response. They give us it in spades and more. Wonderful to see. Um, delighted for Declan Cadell. My word, what a servant of our football club. How he has approached the game. Uh, you know, we give him six months to set the academy up, and he's a young man. He's 33 years old. Wise up. Uh, get yourself back out there and, uh, and and get fit and get out. And he and he got a and. He's given us what we need. He, you know, he gives you that little bit extra, and w when you're called upon, and and all of that. So, we'll be delighted uh, for him, delighted for the fans. Uh, it's another big moment in our history as a football club to, to march into another final, and we'll give it our best shot. It, 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 these are just days to experience and enjoy. Uh, so they're, they're they're out there for everybody, and I'm delighted for everyone today. Congratulations! Thank you.